Your biggest worry will be how are you getting to the next party? That's your biggest worry. Oh my gosh, freshman week. Okay, freshman week is when all the thoughts try to meet all the man whores and form orgies and do things that shouldn't be done on a college level, on a grown folk level. It should never happen. It shouldn't even happen in jail. It's horrible things happen during freshman week. You make friends. You, um, I don't know, you pretty much just uh, explore the campus a little bit. Maybe you explore DC, you know what I mean? You, you catch some thoughts here and there, be like, oh, there's another one. Come join my circle. You know what I mean? Like, you do, you do a lot of that, you know, gain some numbers, gain some Twitters, you know what I mean? Freshman week is turn up week. So, everything, it's just all about, basically, that's the time when you meet the people who you would. Nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, gonna spend like the rest of the semester with. Best freshman week ever was definitely they had this phone party at one of the clubs, and I swear I was in there like trying to swim and stuff. Like it was insane. Like bubbles above my head. I was meeting new people. I was hitting numbers. We were talking. We were socializing. We were dancing. So I learned how to dance and stuff. Freshman week. Taste of How was probably my favorite event. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was confused because obviously I'm a big guy, okay? So now, when I heard Taste of Howard, I was like, oh, it automatically, I was born in Chicago, so I automatically thought, I said Taste of Chicago. I said, oh, word, free food. I'm there. No. No. No, it wasn't. I was slightly disappointed. He was highly upset. But I still had a good I still had a good time. House parties were like, really like the best parties to go to, like freshman week, because you were like, you turned up with all the upperclassmen. And they were just giving out free liquor, and free liquor is the best liquor. So yeah. Waking up in the morning, knowing that I was praising God that I was still alive. <laughs> That's my best memory. Jesus is real. He's worthy. Back. My best freshman week memory, whether this was good or bad, is judge for yourself. Went to the Good Life Party Part Two, and um, it was it was a great party. I was in hot hair, did shoes on one, and um, well. My shoes were destroyed that night because I sat on the corner <clears throat> for a good hour and a half at 2 o'clock in the morning like a hooker because said bus did not ever come back for me. Best freshman week uh, memories, I passed out, dead ass, passed out right on the booty wall, slapped like just slumped. I had half of a freshman week bang because freshman males are thoughts. And they don't want to wipe you, they just want to play with your emotions. So if you have a freshman week bang, don't invest your feelings. Because after freshman week is over and they see sophomore girls, they're not going to care about you anymore. Bay. <laughs> bays. <laughs> That's how freshman week starts, bro. Freshman week, you're going to have bays. You're going to have bays. You're going to have bays. And then you realize that your bays got bays. <laughs> and then they're going to start falling off. Nah, hell no. Hell no! Freshman, no! No! Bison Cold, number one, man. Don't have no freshman week bay. Fuck out of here. I'm sorry. No, don't don't do that. It's Sunday. I can't curse. I mean. What? What? A 16 to 1 ratio and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a freshman week bay? Ha! Bison Cold. Bison Co tip for freshman week number one. Do not do anything sexual with anyone. I repeat, keep your legs closed. It's not worth it. Freshman week is the first week of school. You do not know him. He do not know you. You do not know her. How did you stick it up in somebody you don't know? That's nasty, no. If you were to drink, now, I don't know whether you're gonna make that decision or not, hold your liquor, bison code. Males, if you were to catch a twerk, hold your twerk, bison code. And ladies, if you were going to wear a short dress, wear underwear, bison code. Have fun. Throw their ass in a circle. Um, don't be bougie, like, fuck, have fun, like, just turn up. During your freshman week, um, you want to be careful, obviously. Um, I remember in my second episode, I said, take Jesus wherever you go. And I mean that, um, take Jesus wherever you go. Let me sit this ass on you. Show you how I feel. 
Cause it's just no visitation No, see for me Just kidding Um, Visitation really determines how nasty and freaky you are because the real freeze, they will have sex outside. The people who ain't worried about it, just like, hey, I'll wait. Visitation is exactly what it is in jail. I don't know if you ever seen like cops or whatever. Visitation is a set amount of time when you can have your friends slash bays over or bay, make it bay, guys, make it bay. But um, it's like when people literally can come see you in your dorm. All right, it's pretty much like slavery <laughs> and like the Holocaust and then visitation. 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 For Drew, I know definitely for Drew all visitation what I think will be the thing that either makes you the happiest guy on earth or as mad as Satan. Visitation is um, this thing that the devil used to control the black people at Howard University. I think visitation is a thing of power to Howard because they know they can kind of control us by taking our visitation away. So it's kind of like a power struggle between the students and administration. We go to a Negro facility and all my friends at PWIs don't even know what visitation is. But just because we are, we do live in DC and it's really dangerous. I think visitation is good that it's implemented, but I just think it should be 24 hours. I mean, honestly, I think when you're 18 or 19 years old, you know when somebody should leave your room or where you want to sleep at night. I mean, if you're playing, paying the same amount as rent, then you shouldn't be able to tell me when I should have visitors. As an RA, visitation is key because I'm tired of you mother freshmen trying to sneak up in my building all the time thinking I'm checking you out. I, I see you and you don't live here, so don't come back. But when I'm a freshman, visitation was cool because I was at the station. I never got in trouble with my floor was popping. I am a grown, I'm a grown ass boy asking people for visitation. What the world? What the world? What? Please. Please. The best time to check in bay is when nobody's looking. End of discussion. You don't want nobody to know. You don't want everybody in your business. Because as soon as somebody finds out who bay is, they going to be on bay. And Bay is just for you. Bay is not for everybody. Bay is on lock. Keep Bay on lock. Check in Bay during the day. Everybody be in class. You could just have as much sexual relations as you want. You could fucking hump down the damn hallway if you want to. But yeah, Bay. During the day, nobody be in there. Crazy visitation stories. Uh, the power went out at Carver one time. And it was all, all night and all day. And that's as far as I'm gonna get into it, cause things got crazy. This one girl really tried to come in a suitcase. There was no visitation, and she said, "In a suitcase." And I'm like, "You don't even live here." Not like, the boy, not the girl. I'm like, "And you think you're gonna bring a girl?" It was just a real big mess. The girls are trifling, and you know where she came from. She was from the quad. I can tell you how I've seen visitation story. I can tell you. Like when I seen this Negro get checked in by one girl in the West and then swerve and get checked in by another dude, a girl in the East. Without naming names. No, 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 really. I mean, I think this one time, I think maybe, this floor in the annex might have gone downstairs at 11.50 to see who's getting checked out. But, I mean, that might or might not have happened. Um, I've seen girls come to Drew and room hop. What is room hopping? Room hopping is when you get checked down by one dude and you just go to different rooms throughout Drew or Carver or whatever. Ladies, H-E-18, do not be a room hopper. We will find out. Vice code. So that makes a balance. Were you? I was that I was that freshman freshman. I was that ratchet freshman. Like I want my money back on my power pack. What? But I didn't even buy one. But freshman week was amazing. Amazeballs. Yeah.